What's up, guys? My name is Randall Wentz. I'm in Southeast Lawn Care, and you know, on a whim, I just thought I'd start a YouTube channel. I don't have a lot going on today. It's Monday, end of August, doing a little invoicing stuff. Um, anyways, I'm repping this shirt right here, Hickory Creek Outdoors. Um, man, helped me start my business, and he just showed me the way of the world and showed me how to run a lawn care business and just how to sell yourself, really. And I don't know, it was just a really nice thing that he did, so. You know, you can't, you can't not show the love. But anyways, I thought I'd show you all some of my equipment. If I can get my camera to work with me. Um, but anyways, I guess I'll just have to turn it around like this. Show you leaf blower, BR700, pretty nice blower. I've got my hand tools right here and not too much here at the house, but, uh, Got the uh, the Ranger and a couple other chemicals. Got the T-Zone SC. Got the Drive to kill that crab grass. Got some methanol seed oil and stuff. Got the Holly Tone over there for a little fertilizer when we do some power pruning. Got the pruners right there. The weed eater up there. That's a nice weed eater. That's the Still FS111. Pretty nice. Um, some bullshit over here. Got. This thing right here, that's my baby, that's the Jack Co right there. She works great. I apologize for the mess in my garage, it's kind of just everything everywhere. This sprayer right here is pretty good. I actually comped it for $40. It's the Husqvarna, it's a manual sprayer. Anyways, I'm gonna run out here to the truck and grab some stuff. Invoicing some people this morning, just, just kind of hanging out. It's Monday. We don't work too hard on Mondays. But hope everyone enjoys this and actually watches. I'm gonna try to vlog and stuff. I'm gonna get me a camera mount for my truck. Here, I'll show y'all guys my two landscape trucks. Just got that bad boy, and that's my landscape truck right there. Fortunately, my landscape truck's wrecked right now, so I'm having to drive my F-250 around. Kind of miss my Duramax, but it is what it is. Show y'all what my two employees did. They're gone now, but kind of smashed up that rear end. You know, kind of crumpled the exhaust a little bit and bent the frame and everything. That, you know, it is what it is. I just got this bad boy. Got it because of the accident. Got my cooler back there. I don't know if any of y'all have heard of Arctic coolers, but they work great. Things I'll go to the other side. So, fortunately, yesterday I broke the door latch on my passenger back door, so uh, it is what it is. Just gotta keep on going, we'll fix it eventually. It's a new truck, I don't even know if I'm gonna keep it. I think I'm gonna fix the Duramax and possibly get rid of this one. Right, I'll find some stuff here in the back. Oh man. See. Maybe I need to get in there and put the seat up. I think the shit's up underneath the seat. Mm. Huh. There they are. Alright. We gotta find the notebook. Some invoices out today. So it is the end of August, like I said. I would like to get my money for mowing all these yards. Oh. So, I don't know how many of you guys actually run a lawn care business or mow grass for a living, but pretty good industry, pretty good career. Honestly, didn't think it was that good of a career until I got into it. But, been in it for about six years but even then I didn't really believe it I was just working for other people and a bossy Hickory Creek owner of Hickory Creek Outdoors Gary Knight pulled me aside and he was just like you know what Randy I was his crew leader at the time and he was like Randy you're real good at what you do you've made a lot of money for me you sell yourself really well you sell my company really well 
It's like, what you need to do is go buy yourself a lawnmower. And he went and showed me a lawnmower, and then, you know, it ended up being a piece of crap, and he helped me get out from underneath it. But, anyways, long story short, he really did help me out, and uh, he showed me how to run a lawn care business, kind of just gave me the word that I could, uh, let me shut my garage real quick. Just kind of, just kind of gave me the inspiration to start my own thing, just... He's like, Randy, he pulled me aside. He's like, Randy, I know we got a lot going on. I'm super busy. But you know what, Randy? You, you need... It was time for me to get a pay raise is what it was. And he couldn't pay me... I was supposed to get raises every year. And he couldn't, pay, he couldn't afford to pay me what I was worth. So he kind of just helped me. And he gave me a few jobs, passed me along. Like, he gave me four or five properties and... It was okay. I mean, I don't have any of those properties now. He just kind of gave me those to get on my feet. He uh, sold me a truck, which is actually that landscape truck that I wrecked out there. Um, did not look like that before, though. Had a uh, regular pickup bed on it. And I actually custom built that truck myself. I put the headache crack on it and everything. My boys at Mid-State uh, Truck Beds here in Denton, North Carolina, they helped me out. Denton is not where I run my business. I run my business mainly in Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, good market up there, and that's actually where I'm from. I'm living in Thomasville now, just cause, I don't know. That's where my girlfriend lives, and you know I love her. We've been together for a while, and uh, anyways, so that's enough about myself. I'm going to get to some invoicing right now, and then later on today, I'm going to take some videos of me mowing some grass, and once I get to my shop, I'll show you some of my more, some of my other equipment and some of the mowers that I've acquired in a year. I acquired a damn, it's a 2004 F-250, uh, extended cab, long bed, uh, 6 diesel, I acquired that in a year, um, the Duramax kind of hand it to me. I mean, I bought that with a group of other equipment and uh, really got a really good deal on that truck. It had like 170,000 miles on it when I got it. I think I got it for $4,000. I, I got a Skag uh, Swizzit or SWZT 48. Got that for a really good deal. It's a 2015 model. I bought it in 2017. And, uh, that mower only cost me like three grand. A BR seven seven hundred out there. I mean, this dude was really just trying to help me out, try to get me on my feet. He sold me that blower for like a hundred dollars. Now we, I had unfortunately I had to buy a weed eater brand new. I mean, I had issues happen. I got done with a big mulch job and just really just my weed eater was really just worn out, old piece of junk. You know, you got to start from somewhere though. Um. anyways guys I'm gonna get off of here now and I'm gonna get back on my computer and uh just kind of get at it so I can get out the house and start mowing for the day well guys so fortunately my printer is out of ink so I'm gonna take my laptop and my notes to uh mom's house and I might do it at my grandparents house I don't know one or the other I'm gonna get these invoices printed. They're all, they're all ready to go. Got one printed, and uh, we ran out of ink. Anyways, set my laptop up here. Unlock the truck, warm this diesel up. Y'all hear what the 6.0 sounds like. Fully delete it, and uh, the head studs and stuff. It's kind of high mileage truck, but you know, these diesels last forever. And buddy's got a 6.0, it's fully pegged, glow plug's warming up. This truck, it starts amazing. Duramax started better, you can have warm glow plug. So anyways, I was in the middle of the video and I started my truck and I uh, got this touch screen radio right here. And anyways, every time I get in my truck, it uh, the damn connects Bluetooth. Sometimes it pisses me off. but. We deal with it. Rolling windows down and get out of here pretty soon. We'll load up my leaf blower and my weed eater and whatnot. And uh, 
Maybe my spray tank. And we're gonna get on about our day after we get these invoices printed. We're just trying to do it as quick as possible. So I do got a prune job I gotta do this afternoon. I got some other stuff. And my fuel light's on. I only got 200 some odd miles on my truck. That's, that's odd. I think my fuel gauge is going out. Not really sure what's up with that. If anyone knows anything about these 6.0 diesels, these power strokes, help me out. That'd be awesome. Low fuel pressure lights come on a few times. Yeah, that scared me a little bit. You run a diesel out, you're sitting there, you're taking the fuel filter cap off, and you're sitting there pouring fuel in there. It's, it's not a good day. Anyways, I'm gonna load some of my stuff up real quick. Get on about day. It's kind of hard to get some of this stuff one-handed. So I might cut my camera off. I'll take a picture of everything I loaded up and uh, talk to you guys a little later once we start mowing. So anyways, while the garage closes, I've got everything loaded up. Let's see what we got loaded up. We got the Jacko sprayer because we're going to spray a yard today. Got the triple it because I'm out of T-zone, unfortunately, so I'm gonna spray some triple it. And I got the power pruners because, as I said earlier, we're gonna do a small prune job. I mean, it's nothing big. It'll probably take me an hour just keep pruning and cleaning up. But it's an easy sixty dollars, so this is what it is. I'm gonna cut my truck off real quick and see if this fuel light goes away. Of course, it doesn't. It's a little scary. I think it's just a fuel gauge. I think 224 is usually usually what I get out of half a tank. So, anyways, unless I sprung a fuel leak in the middle of the night, I don't see any diesel where I normally park. So, anyways, guys, just wanted to show you my equipment. We get on the highway and uh, get on to work. What? Peace. Anyways, guys, I just stopped at the store. Ended up getting uh, myself some uh, printer ink for my printer. Instead of going to my mom's house, I figured that would just be faster. Got me a good old Mountain Dew. You know, you gotta have that nectar. Um, but we're gonna hop on the highway, and uh, we're just gonna invoice this afternoon. You know, it's, it's almost 10 o'clock. It's 9.50 now, and... Uh, just got some things I'd like to do before it gets too god awful hot, you know. Spray some yards once it does get awful hot, and then I'm gonna try to be home by like three or four o'clock today because it's Monday and that's only gets Sunday off. I generally work six days a week, but I try, just try to take it easy on Monday. And golly, there's about a wreck in front of me. I'm gonna get off of here and uh focus on driving. I had to get on Highway 85 here in North Carolina and head on down to Greensboro. It's about a 20 minute drive from Thomasville. So, uh, keep y'all posted. So, I just got a phone call from one of my buddies that owns a lawn care company in, uh, in Greensboro as well. And, uh, it was stolen from last night. Got two lawnmowers stolen and a bunch of other small equipment. And they damaged one of his trucks, popped a tire on his trailer. What's the point, guys? Why do you still? I mean, why does anyone still? Why can't you just get it on your own? Like, I mean, come home. Like, this is our livelihood. We're lawn care guys. We stay outside all day and build our stuff. Like, we work harder than anyone. And, I mean, for someone to just come and rob him like that, it just takes so much stupid. I don't understand why anyone would want to do that. I mean, are you that crazy? Oh, look. I feel good to start working again, see?
what you want to steal from anyone. Can you not just get a job? Go buy a $300 push mower? Stuff up on offer up Craigslist. Let go, like probably spend two hundred dollars, get a leaf blower, a piece of crap leaf blower, subpar weed eater, and a little push mower that's not self propelled. You can start a business. Pay a couple, a couple dollars. Start charging people twenty bucks a yard, twenty five. Do something. Build your money. Buy another lawnmower. Start charging more. Like come on, don't steal from people. Got to my grandparents' house. Uh, show y'all some of my equipment. Got my lawnmower out. So right here, still got the sulky up. That's the skag though. Nice mower. I like it. She's still pretty new to me. Not really. Probably got a thousand hours on her or more. This is my camper. It's pretty nice. There's my grandfather's camper. Ah. Uh, Show y'all my tractor real quick. It's for sale if anybody wants to trade me a uh, like a mini tractor that's four wheel drive. This one's two wheel, but she's massive and she definitely gets the job done. This is a tractor though. It's got the bush hog front loader on it. Alice Chambers. Forget what model she is. She's a model. Nice front loader on her though. She's a decent tractor. She's pretty old. I can't remember what year she is. But she's a pretty good example. I got the box scrape back there. I hardly ever use that bad boy though. But uh, anyways, we get to mow in my grandparents' yard and uh, keep posted maybe I'll try to sit my phone somewhere to take some mowing bids we'll see talk to y'all later